this diagram shows you the relationship of the belt tensioner to the two belts that are on the engine. The belt tensioner only provides tension to the serpentine belt, which powers the generator and the air conditioning compressor. In order to remove this belt tensioner, we will remove the upper bolt from the top portion of the engine, and then we will access the lower bolt from the underneath the car and remove it from there. Then we will return to the top and pull the belt tensioner from the top. At this moment, I'd like to point out that since you have this area opened up, you are going to be removing the belt tensioner, which means the serpentine belt has to be removed. It is a good time to go ahead and change out the water pump belt as well. Also, this is also a good time for you to inspect the water pump and make sure that it is not showing any indications of any leaks. Because if it is, this would be the time to go ahead and take care of that water pump as well. This clip here shows you what a leaked belt tensioner looks like. As you can see, it is completely oiled up. Uh, there's a lot of dust that is accumulated on it. So basically, this belt tensioner has lost its capability of holding tension on the belt. And that is the reason why we hear a squeaking sound when we accelerate. Basically, the belt is starting to slip. Uh, the other thing that can also go bad are the bearings that are in the uh, belt tensioner pulley. But in our case, the pulley, the pulley bearings are good. It's the unit itself has leaked oil and can no longer hold the belt tension. In order to get started on the repair, we will need to jack up the car. Please click on the link in the upper right hand corner to see how you can jack up a Mazda 6 or a similar vehicle and support it on jack stands so that you can work on the car safely. We now have the car jacked up, the front tire removed, and we have placed the front tire underneath the car for accidental support. The next thing that needs to be done after we've removed the tire is to be able to gain access to this area. So we have the body frame that goes in this area here. The um, water pump is behind here. The crank pulley should be down here. So in order to remove this, uh, basically use a screwdriver to pull this plug, that plug, that plug, and then there's a plug that's behind here, which we will access after uh, we've removed these plugs up here. So now that we've removed the three other plugs, we're gonna go ahead and pull this forward and expose that plug. I have already uh, gone in and loosened this with a screwdriver, so this should come out. Once that is out, this piece just will fall. We'll pull out just like that. Now that we have the side cover off, we have access to the belts and we will also access the tensioner from this side as well. So basically, um, with this removed, we have exposed the, the crank pulley. This is the belt for the water pump. And then we will access the belt tensioner through here so that we can get the serpentine belt off. Step would be to remove the belts. And if you can please click on the link in the upper right hand corner for the video link that shows you how to remove and install belts. Um, you can see in the diagram that there are two belts. There is a water pump belt, which is located towards the inside of the crank pulley. There is no manual adjustment uh, for tension for this belt. So this belt will need to be pulled off while rotating the crank, and when installing it, needs to be pushed on while rotating the crank. Uh, the second belt that we see here is a serpentine belt, which drives the alternator and the air conditioning compressor. And this belt is located towards the outside of the crank pulley. The belt tensioner that has gone bad in our case is the uh, unit that provides tension in this belt. So the video link that you will click on in the upper right hand corner is to show you how to remove and install the belts. So uh, what we're going to do is, is we're going to break the upper bolt. So basically using a wrench, uh, you're just going to 
reach in from the top from that area. So now we're going to go back down so you can kind of see. You get it on there and then we are going to we're going to have to pull upwards. Now what you want to do is, is there's not a whole lot of clearance between here and the the body itself. What you want to make sure is is uh, you keep your hands safe. So when you pull upwards, you want to make sure you're doing it controlled so that you don't end up hitting that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and break this loose. So it basically broke loose and now yeah, it's loose. So you just want to make sure you be careful when you're applying an upward force. So now that the, the nut is broken loose, we're just going to go ahead and back off the nut majority of the way. I'm not going to remove it. Now we're going to go ahead and access the lower bolt, which is this one right here. We're going to go ahead and install the 12 millimeter wrench now that I have the uh, wrench uh, attached to the uh, bolt we're gonna go ahead and extend the uh, the length here so that we can get a longer lever arm and I'll show you what that looks like so basically grab another one of these wrenches and you stick it in like this and in essence you've doubled the, the the length of your lever arm so we're going to go ahead and try to break it free okay so that bolt has opened up all right so there we go it's all it's loose now so we can go ahead and get rid of our extension and simply loosen the bolt by getting our hands inside. So leaving the upper bolt in allows me to remove the lower bolt without having the belt tensioner fall downwards. Okay, so let me show you from down here. Uh, you can see that the bolt is not going to come out. It's a fairly long bolt. So what we're gonna go and do is, is uh, remove the nut from the top so that we can pull the uh, belt tensioner uh, assembly upwards. So I've got the nut removed. We're now going to go ahead and pull the assembly. All right, that's it. This is removed. All right, so here we have a side-by-side -side comparison of the new versus the old. And as you can see, this has leaked the oil uh, through here. Uh, this is what the backside looks like. This is the backside of the new one. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, reinstall. So we're gonna go ahead and install the new one. But before we continue, this is where we're gonna have to go ahead and wash our hands. And it is uh, strongly adjust, uh, advised that you get some gloves so that you can avoid these dirty messes. It's a lot easier to remove the dirty gloves and get a new glove. So something to consider when you're working on the car. The part number for the new uh, unit is PE03-15980C. I believe there is another part number out there, but 
you know, this is the one that you want to get. Always double check the part number by entering in your specific vehicle VIN. Okay, so we've got the area all cleaned up. Um, we pretty much cleaned up this area back here as well. Uh, just use some brake fluid, a brake, a brake fluid cleaner, and as you can see down there, everything is cleaned up. We've also blown air on the pulleys so that there is no uh, dust or grime that is on the pulleys, so that when the belts seat in, there is no slippage. We're not going to go ahead and install the new uh, bolt ten uh, belt tensioner. Uh, I've already slid in the uh, the nut, uh, the bolt. Uh, because we're not going to be able to install it afterwards, so we're going to go ahead and install it through here. So we've got this slid on top. We're going to go ahead and install the bolt, the nut. We've got that. Um, so I'm going to now, before we, before I tighten this, I'm going to go underneath the car and try to get that bolt, uh, the bottom bolt started right there. Okay, so we've got it slid in. So I'm going to go ahead and use the 12 millimeter wrench to somewhat tighten the lower bolt. And now from the top what we're going to do is, is we're going to go ahead and tighten the, uh, the nut on the upper part. So I'm going to get the camera out of the way, but uh, basically we're just going to go through and tighten this upper bolt, the upper nut. So now we're going to go ahead and tighten the, uh, the lower bolt. We're using the the other wrench as an extension.
So with the extension on here, we're going to go ahead and make sure that it is tightened. And it basically is. So that's all there is to installing the belt tensioner. Now the next step would be to get the belts on. Belt tensioner reinstalled. It is now time to install the belts. Depending on what option you did, if you removed both belts and are installing new belts, then you will install the water pump belt first and then the serpentine belt. If you use the link in the upper right hand corner, you will be able to follow the instructions there to reinstall the belts. Thank you for watching the video. I hope that this has been helpful to show how this can be done. Please ask your questions down below. I'll do my best to answer them in a timely fashion. And please help me out by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Thank you.